from Smith, off his toes, dribbles it through, chases after it, Marcus Smith! Oh, shut up. So the champions in a good place. Ten points from two games, rested after their bye week, and ready for the Friday night lights at the stoop. And breathe. Quinn slowing this right up, Randall. Lovely dart from Randall. Trademark That's Randall. Support is there. Great work from Kerr. He's one roll away. Joyce. Yeah. Try scored. Down in the ball. Almost on a plate for Bristol, but the pick and go is absolutely exceptional because he could easy, easily have lost that. Tried to pick it, the ball got stuck under the legs. Loved the West Country derby last week. Had a fine game as well, and Sheedy converts. Some decent shape to this Bristol attack. Held back for Bedlow, a little bit of space to attack. Through goes Purdy. Scurrying forwards, lovely show and go. Henry Purdy for Bristol. And Harlequins are stunned. Here's the offload. How good's this off the floor? Purdy, the man there again, working off his wing. He then gets back to the outside, Care flies forward, they have to fly forward on the outside too, and Tommy Allen Don't left in no man's land by his nine. Not far shy of a point a minute, Bristol leading Harlequins at the street by 14 points to nil. Piertau. Just Devant slowing this up enough too. at the moment, Quinns, width on the ball here for Adia Loken. Man down for Harlequins as Jake Kerr hurtles forwards. Randall Vui on a lovely line, being held by Kenningham and Lamb. But it's there now for Randall. Another excellent line, this time from Holmes. The locks finding the angles. Can Bristol find the try line? Piertau can. That's three for the Knights. And uh, they are hitting Harlequins where it hurts. As Sheedy adds the two, and they move into the 20s, Bristol. It's like you're goading them, not that they need any goading. Beyond 15. Lorde for Harlequins, Dombrant, Care, lovely offload to Esther Hazen. Barnstorming run from the centre, momentum nearly carried him all the way. Care, driven up by Walker. Bit of width on it now. Line up! I feel like I've seen this story before. I'll tell you what, that is a stunner. And Smith straight on the field, banging them over. Okay, straight on the field, controlling proceedings, making the right calls. Of course comes Purdy, Randall sucking in those defenders, Sheedy. Looking for that cross-field kick, Adia Loken's on the chase, and the ball is Run moving a little too line, quickly, seven, but back we come for the penalty. The line. Three more for the Bears to end an excellent That's half of rugby for Pat Lamb's men. Lorde pops it on his way, space here for Smith, straight through the gap, here's Liner. Murley's with him, so too Esther Hazen, he's going to take some stopping. Infield ball for Liner! Just cannot stop scoring. And it's a little one-two. What a score. This is just brilliant to watch. Both <laughs> sides. And in front of a very proud dad as well. The full seven points. And Quinns are creeping closer. And release. Care. In behind Smith, tidied by Green, he's going to use his pace to try and get outside O'Connor. Brilliant work from Green, lovely angle from Liner. Back three working really nicely in tandem. And then Dombrat, oh. the offload, and the glory from Esther Hazen. Harlequins at the very, very best. And it's game on. It's that first two strides, isn't it? As he comes around, Ben, he treads water, but then just puts on the burner. 
Rum is stable. Bonus point try awaits Harlequin. No Dom Brandt no from close range. Care. Little pop. And Northmore! Holy moly! It's happening again! Harlequins have a bonus point. Scores a level. Conversion to come. Chaos. And what a pass that is under pressure with the last remaining defender. The ball is out, but um, Bristol managed to no, no, no. take care of it. Chisholm <laughs> knew that there was a little sniff. Piertau. And they've lost it. Knock on in the tackle. In the tackle. Collier. Just a knock on. Has it now? Oh, oh Quince! Will Collier! Oh, my goodness me! Oh, he scooped it back. Literally couldn't make this up. He's never scored in the Premiership. Never scored. 134 matches. Tonight's the night for Will Collier. It never happens. That's tonight. Well, it's the longest time that a Premiership player has ever had to wait. Quinns with possession. Smith with the crossfield kick. Murley. Takes on Lloyd. Inside. Green. Herring away to the line. They're irresistible at the moment. You just can't stop them. And such a narrow defensive line. Harlequins having an absolute field day. Up goes Lamb. Riley's on the ball now, and Bristol are heading into reverse. And Quinns are powering onwards. You've lost, you've lost, it's available. Don Brandt feeds available. it back. Oh, Wazzy, it back in. Mate, it's available. Use it, please. Marla waits. Pick up from Smith, off his toes. Dribbles it through, chases after it, Marcus Smith! Oh, shut up. Stop it, will you? That is just silly. If he's not in the England team starting, there's going to be a lot of people asking the question, why not? And Smith found some space somewhere to be able to put the kick in. And then he found acres of space. Trundles it up again. Sheedy intercepted by Dombrant. The minus touch. Surely we're never going to score 50 without their number eight on the scoreboards. Grown men reduced to something like tears of celebration. As we've said all game, he just reads the game really well, doesn't he? He knows what teams are going to do. 25th in the Premiership now. It's a good job you gave him man of the match, Ben. <laughs> you look like a right fool if you hadn't. But just how he reads the play is so impressive. Another eye-popping comeback. And Harlequins, yet again, demonstrating escape artistry at its most thrilling. Champions for a reason. Eight tries tonight. And from 21-0 down, shades of the semi-final. Winners here tonight by 52 points to 24. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any Gallagher Premiership rugby action.